Hello everyone. Today is Sunday, November 20th, 2022 at 1038 a.m. Well, um, my sleep wasn't the greatest last night, but I got me some sleep and I woke up sometime. I think it was 9, 10 a.m. this morning that I actually woke up. But I remember being like between three and four o'clock and probably like a few hours of a gap of me having no sleep. And so that was frustrating and annoying, but I still feel like kind of sleep deprived and need more sleep. But anyway, um, I was going to do a video as soon as I woke up, but I felt on edge. I guess that's the way you say it. Um, because I felt like nervous because I'm like, oh man, please don't come knocking on my door. <laughs> you know, if the housekeepers knock on your door and say, are you a stay over or are you checking out and stuff? So, but in weekly motels, I don't have to worry about that. So I don't have to worry about being disturbed every day, you know, but they usually have a roster, um, that tells them whether or not you're staying over or whether you or not you're checking out. But this morning, usually about nine or 10 o'clock, they usually knock on your door and disturb your last moments of trying to get peace before you got to be back on the streets and suffer, you know, but anyway, I'm um, still feeling a little sleep deprived and kind of groggy, but can't go back to sleep. But whoever the the guests were last night, they were beating and banging and making a lot of noise. <clears throat> and I had like different noise harassment from different sources last night. And they've been on my ass gang stalking me so heavy. And as I said, for my survival, I can't even publicize everything. And it's hard to even catch everything. <clears throat> they were even gang stalking me real bad. The whole bus ride so bad <clears throat> that I um, was like, damn, I should have freaking video recorded the whole doggone bus ride. But then when I had my camera out, they be on their best behavior. And, but then when I'm vulnerable with no camera, that's when they do all their shenanigans or their antics. So last night, they, and even now, they try to make my leg hurt. Uh, last night, I mean, I'm kind of, I got kind of mad because with this room, <clears throat> the um the heater doesn't stay on all the time, the whole time. It cuts off when it wants to. But the other two, the other room that I was in earlier this week in the other hotel, that room Friday, it was lovely because I was able to keep the heater on consistently. But... <clears throat> um. When, so, so I mean, they turned the heater off and I got mad. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the heater turned off automatically, so I got mad. So last night, I put the air on 90, and I had some hot moments and then some cold moments. And um, so then I couldn't sleep with the air on 90. So when I put the heat back on 84, then I finally was able to get some sleep after 4 o'clock this morning or after 4.30 or something. And the leg pain went away. But now I have the air supposedly on 90, but it, it automatically, the temperature goes the what it wants to do. And it's now saying 77 and my leg is hurting. But if I... I mean, but I think that because they had those Hispanics from 
earlier this week, they're still here. <clears throat> and so ever since dealing with them, my right leg, like they hit me with energy weapons to make my right leg hurt. But the night when I was on the streets, that when it, it was 35 degrees the next morning, no leg pain. And then Friday at the other hotel, no leg pain, no shoulder pain, no nothing, really. I was fine. But at that hotel, I had been attacked with direct energy weapons before when they were forced, causing me forced diarrhea real bad a couple of years ago. <clears throat> so, um, it seems like with the forced diarrhea, every once in a while, they'll attempt or try. But, um, maybe the bentonite claim might it might probably might stall the diarrhea and make it sol make it more solid. <clears throat> but um, they you know caused me random forced urination, like when I was at the storage unit yesterday, and I had to stop myself in my tracks and stop all just to go run downstairs, and go and um had to sanitize the toilet with the rubbing alcohol, yes. And then, you know, and then go pee. And by the time I'd be then sanitized or clean off the toilet, then I'd be the halfway peed on myself because of the forced urination. And that's one of the reasons why I've been wearing, the, um, you know, the bladder pads. <clears throat> so, um, but I forgot to say yesterday at the other hotel, they had a a white female that was one of the housekeepers, and she had a lot of missing front teeth, and she looked like she was on drugs or do crystal meth, and I'm like, how the hell they hire her for housekeeper or hire her for a job, but they won't hire me, and she looked like she do drugs, but um, she treated me like I was too, I was, you know, packing up to check out. And she treated me like she thought I was too dumb to know what 11 o'clock is or what 11 o'clock means. Just like the narcissistic perp John Mayo from the um, Gulf Breeze Middle School. You know, when it was time to leave and he treated me, and I was already done my work and he would treat me, he would try to rush me out at 8 o'clock and then treat me like he thought I was too dumb to know what 9 o'clock means. Or too dumb to know what nine o'clock is, and then he tried to bury himself into my personal business, asking me nosy questions and stuff. But then he would get into pick arguments with me and get a, get an attitude with me, and try to pick fights with me and stuff, and then act like he delusionally believes he's my boss. See, that's the fake crusty housekeepers right there. Blast and loud music or TV or whatever from their phones distracted me. Sounds like they blast a fake gospel music. Like, get the hell away from my door. Can y'all hear that? See, maybe I should have waited till later on. It's just my own race of people. Why the hell? They, it's like they, come on, man. Ignorant. Ignorant. I know y'all heard that. <clears throat> and then talking loud near my door. So, um... So, I mean, it's like disgusting ass trolls. Um, 
So, um, <clears throat> so, like, also yesterday when I turned the keys in, the black lady at the front desk, it looked like she was doing the front desk work and the, um, kitchen, um, what do you call that? The, um, breakfast attendant and working the front desk. She was, looked like she was doing both. And she got an attitude and was rude, hard and mean and rude with a bad attitude towards me, you know. And she was the one who was letting the perps, letting the homeless perps in. So since they're making fucking loud noise, I'll try to do the continue on with the talking about talking about, you know, the how homeless people are set back and stuff. See, look. I'm a, I'm gonna continue later on. I'm so, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm frustrated right now. Cause they waited till after I started my fucking video to say something very important, just to do disrupt with the freaking noise noise harassment near my door, the housekeepers. Y'all hear that? If not, turn up your speakers. I'm not stepping outside. 